welcome back to another video tutorial here at Mrs. Lincoln's Inkin. Um, for today's share, I'm going to be showing you this card that I posted on my uh, website last week uh, when I did my whole weekly series on clean and simple cards. So every day I posted a card that was using mainly Whisper White with just a splash of color because I wanted to show that cards can still be really elegant and beautiful um, with not a lot going on on the front. So I chose this card today because I am absolutely obsessed and in love with the new Chevron Punch right now. And the Chevron Punch is available in the um, new Occasions Mini that you can now purchase from. It's on page 28 and it's $21.95 and it's right there. And it's absolutely amazing as well as all of the other products that are currently in the Occasions Mini catalog. If you don't have your catalog yet and you would like to order one, you can visit my website at um, www.mrslincolnsincon.com and um, place your order there. I would really appreciate your business. So let's go ahead and get started on today's card. So what you're going to need is just your base card cut at four and a quarter by eleven, scored at five and a half, and then you're going to need another piece of Whisper White, and this is cut at four by five and a quarter. So we need to get our chevron punch, and here is the amazing punch. Love it. <laughs> okay, so we only want to do our punch right down here on the side, um, whichever side you want. So what I'm going to do is, I, there we go, I'm going to put my punch in as far as it can go, and I'm just going to make my first punch here on the side. And this is another thing why I love this punch is because it's kind of a two-in-one punch. You get these amazing, you know, little shapes too that can be used for so many things on cards. So I never throw these away. I always keep them. So then once we have our first punch out here, what we're going to do is we're going to slide our punch down. So our very last punch that we had there, can you see that? is so you are only technically punching out two right there because this one's going to be our guide and then we're going to punch then we're going to do the same thing slide this down and then punch the next two so it looks just like that isn't that cool love it okay so get all these uh, pieces out of the way put the punch sorry about my arm there so then that is that is it. That is how you make the little border. So now I like to put a piece of cardstock on the, or DSP on the back of it. So I'm using the designer series paper that's called Sweet Sherbert. It is also in the Occasions Mini right now. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab my paper trimmer here. And I know that my piece has to be at least four inches long. So I'm going to make it about, hmm. I don't know, a little over three and a quarter maybe. And then, yeah, I was gonna say, I don't think I cut that right. Because my paper is four across, so we need it to be at least five. Get with the program, Sarah. And it might help if you would be able to see what I'm doing. Oh my goodness, I'm just not with it today, huh? And all we need it to be is, I'm going to make it about two inches in width, um, just to make sure that we have enough to um, cover the back of our, our piece. So again, I just cut a piece of DSP, and I cut it at five by two. Seems like you couldn't see me cut it a couple of seconds ago. Sorry about that. Then I'm just going to take my snail, and I'm going to run it along the side here on the top, down here on the bottom, and on the other side. Now when you have um, projects where you don't want a lot of the snail on the you know on the top because you're working with such a small area there, we can fix that in just a minute. So don't worry about that. Then we're just going to take our DSP here, line it up, place it where we want it. And voila. There we go. So now to get that extra DSP, you can just run your fingers right across the side. Or you can take your little handy dandy adhesive remover tool. I got some on the 
bottom here that I'm gonna and it just comes right off so I just take it and run it across the side like that and it gets all that extra so it's not sticky there whatsoever you can do it down here this is an amazing fabulous little tool so then there so now you have no extra sticky and I see that I got a little overhang right here at the bottom just barely so I'm going to take my paper snips here and just cut this off. There, now you can't even tell. Perfect. So now I'm going to go ahead and take some dimensionals. And I'm going to puff these up on, put one in each corner. Just like that. Peel off the backs. and then put this right on the base of my card. Perfect. How cute is that? Okay, so now for my greeting, I'm using the uh, For You stamp set and I'm going to be using the Hello right there. And then I'm going to be using the Word Bubble Framelits and I'm going to be using this framelit right here. Change it up a little bit from the card that I posted before. Get a piece of Scrap Whisper White and my Stays On ink. Just going to ink this up. Stamp my Hello right there. Perfect. Now we're going to grab the Big Shot real fast. Alright, so now I have my magnetic plate down. I have my clear plate, my Whisper White, and then my Framelit. I'm just going to position this where I want it. I'm trying to get that hello in the center there. Looks good. My other clear plate, and we're going to roll it on through. Punch this out. Perfect. Find what I did with my card. Take a couple of additional dimensionals. And then put this right at the bottom. Trying to get it centered. <laughs> There we go. And there is our super simple um, clean and cut, clean and simple card using the Chevron punch. Well, I hope you all enjoyed today's video. Until next time, happy inking.